Today we're going to Yoho National Park. We're headed westbound on the Trans-Canada Highway from Calgary, Alberta. We're heading to Field, British Columbia, just inside the Alberta-BC border, where we'll turn to head to Emerald Lake. This is right where you enter Yoho National Park. So join us as we explore this beautiful park with sites like Emerald Lake, Natural Bridge, and Takaka Falls. This is one of the most beautiful parts of Canada. Hey there, so today we are in Emerald Lake, which is in Yoho National Park here in Canada. It's just inside BC from the Alberta border. It's about a three hour drive from Calgary and about an hour and a half from Banff. So you can see the lake behind me is emerald and beautiful, just like the name suggests. The green color comes from the fact that the lake is glacier fed and how the rocks rub against each other, releasing silt beneath the glacier, and then that flows into the lake. And then as the sunlight shines upon it, you get this beautiful milky green color. So Emerald Lake is an absolutely fantastic place to come for a quiet retreat. Um, you can see behind me there are kayakers, you can rent canoes. Um, some people have even gone swimming in the lake, although do keep in mind it is glacier fed. There is a beautiful walking path that's paved that runs all around the lake. If you want to walk around the entire thing, it's not that large. It takes probably a couple hours at an average pace. Um, there are cabins that you can stay here, which are across the lake, and each little cabin has its own wood-burning fireplace. It's really just quaint and romantic. And it's also um, all pet friendly, which is great, because um, we have Hattie here with us today. She's been exploring the lake as well. Um, it's also a great year-round place to visit, as you can do all of the canoeing and kayaking and all of the sports on the lake in the summertime, but in the winter there are great cross-country ski trails, and you can go skating, and there are a number of things near here as well as you're right in the middle of a few of some of the best ski hills in all of Canada. So we're part way around Emerald Lake on the nature walk, and the path is mostly paved, some of it is gravel, so I would suggest wearing good walking shoes and something that you don't mind getting a little bit dirty, especially if you want to kind of go off of the, the paved path and go down towards the lake at some of these little inlets. And something else that I would mention here is we are in a national park and we are in the middle of the forest, literally. So I would, you know, caution you around wildlife. So we're in bear country. You'll also see elk and bighorn sheep um, potentially deer and even moose. Something that I would consider packing is bear spray. You can buy it just about everywhere. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, my husband has a YouTube channel where he will give you a tutorial on how to actually properly use bear spray for your own safety. So with that, um, I would also say don't feed the wildlife. You might remember from my Japan travel series that there were some parks all around Japan where you can feed wildlife. Well that wildlife is tame and domestic whereas the wildlife here in Canada is not and can be quite dangerous. We also recommend that you just don't feed the wildlife here so that they can maintain their wildhood effectively. So if you do see a bear or a moose or an elk, you know, take a photo from a, a safe distance if you want to, but I would really be cautious as to not approach them at all because it could be a very dangerous situation. So whether you're an avid hiker or just a novice who likes to walk and have pretty views, there are lots of different paths here around Emerald Lake that you can check out. This one that we're on right now, uh, runs between the lake and this set of ponds uh, with the river and the creeks that kind of go through. It's um, a beautiful nature trail. You'll see a lot of different foliage, um, lots of different squirrels and chipmunks running through the trees and lots of native birds to the area as well. So it's great for bird watching. Um, for this, I wouldn't say that you need hiking boots. Just a pair of really good walking shoes are all you'd need. Um, the trails are a little bit narrow, but they're absolutely beautiful and something that is absolutely worth doing when you're here at Emerald Lake. So here at Emerald Lake, if you're going to be staying at the lodge, you can't drive right up to the cabin where you're staying. There is 
a parking lot down the hill where there will be a shuttle that will pick you up. You'll see one of the shuttles coming behind me in a few moments here. Um, although in, the shuttles are pet friendly so you don't have to walk your dog outside, especially in winter time if you're gonna be coming up to the lodge. If you're just here for the day, there's parking just nearby here that's just day use parking and there's usually plenty of spots. So you can park and bring your own canoe or kayak or you can rent them when you're here or you can just come up for the day from Calgary. It's a short drive just to do you know, some hiking or cross country skiing. So on the road to and from Emerald Lake, there is this beautiful spot that you can see and hear behind me called Natural Bridge. And it's where this natural land bridge is formed across the Kicking Horse River. Now you can see that the Kicking Horse River is quite loud and there are a lot of large rapids. If you go as far as Golden, British Columbia, which is about 50 kilometers from here, there are whitewater rafting excursions that you can take on this amazing river. So around here at Natural Bridge, there are some small hiking trails. There are a lot of plaques explaining the history of the area and the geology and how everything was formed. Um, there's also some paved pathways, so if you aren't, you know, feeling up to hiking something a little bit more intense, um, it's a great way for you to be able to see the area as well. So if you're visiting Yoho National Park and you're looking for somewhere to stay, I would recommend staying here in Field, British Columbia. Now Field is a very small town, but it is a historic railway town with cute little buildings and quaint cottages like the one behind me. And it's full of guest houses and bed and breakfasts and a couple of very cute gourmet restaurants. It's also about a five to 10 minute drive from Emerald Lake. So you have all of that to see from here. It's nicely located between Golden and Lake Louise. So if you want to stay somewhere a little bit more central to Yoho Park uh, to see the surrounding areas for a week or a weekend, this is a great place to do it. We're here at Takaka Falls in Yoho National Park. The Takaka is free for it is magnificent. And as you can see behind me, this is a magnificent waterfall. It's a little like a very mini hike that's all paved to get here from the parking lot. It takes about 10 15 minutes to walk. I can feel the mist from the falls coming at me. This fall, these falls are among the tallest in all of Canada. And it is this particular waterfall is fed from a glacier that is fed from a nearby ice field. So that's why you're seeing some of the milkiness in the water from the limestone deposits and coming down from the glaciers. So this particular waterfall is just a quick turn off about 800 meters from Highway 1 to the Trans-Canada Highway. It's a great place to stop on your way to and from Emerald Lake or if you're near Lake Louise. So just shy of three hours from Calgary. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments. For more info on free travel guides, visit us at styletosparkle.com and you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest at Style2Sparkle.